Hey, hello. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take a first look at the Samsung Chromebook Plus V2 Core M3 version. Uh, that's a pretty long name. To begin with, uh, this Chromebook was launched a couple of months back and uh, the specifications of the Chromebook are it's a 12.2 inch uh, LCD screen uh, with the dimensions being 1920 by 1200 pixels. Also in terms of processor, it comes with a core M3 processor, that's the 7th generation one. Also the RAM is 4GB inbuilt RAM, 64GB of eMMC storage, uh, of course expandable. And let's take a further look into this and share, share a couple of tips and tricks that I found across as I was a Windows user. So let's continue looking at this. Hey guys, let's continue with the quick review of the Chromebook. So this is what the Chromebook actually looks like. This is the grey model, the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus V2 Core M3 version. Pretty long name. That's because Samsung has come up with a number of Chromebooks which are quite close to each other. The speciality of this Chromebook is that it comes with a Core M3 7th generation processor as well as 64 GB of inbuilt memory. Uh, in addition to the specs that we looked at, let's quickly look at the different ports that are available in this. So on the left hand side, you have a combined microphone and headphone, uh, sorry, microphone and headphone jack, yes. You also have two USB 3 type C ports. These are also the ports that you use for charging and you have a micro SD card slot to expand the memory. Yeah, on the right hand side of the Chromebook, you basically have a normal USB port wherein you can plug in your mouse or any other devices. And this small button over here is basically your power button. So all those who have been on Windows and uh, would be looking for a power button on the keyboard, please don't look there. This is where the power button is. These are your uh, volume keys, the plus and minus. And over here is basically your thrifty little S Pen which you can use for writing and other such activities. It's pretty solid to hold, looks good, is not flimsy. Even when I open the, the book, the uh, perfectly flat thing looks good. Even if I turn it all around in the tent mode or you know clasp it down, it feels solid, it looks uh, nice and uh, overall a nice piece of equipment I would say. Yeah. So now let's let's quickly move on to the uh, nifty part of our um, quick first view. Uh, the first thing that I would like to show is you know the the keys on the top. It's not like the uh, normal F1, F2, F3 keys uh, that we have. These are all different keys. So uh, the key here in the topmost is your escape button. We know about this. This is your left key the right key this is the key to reload this is a nice uh, little key what this does basically is to go ahead and turn things into full screen mode like you see over here yeah the next key is also nice it kind of gives you to jump between different windows that you have open at a glance the remaining keys are the normal you know brightness the mute the the volume buttons and finally the lock key now, if, if you are someone who shifted from Windows onto Chrome, uh, you would definitely be missing a few keys over here. Uh, for example, the delete key. The keyboard does not have a delete key. All it has is a backspace. So if you want to make use of the delete key, you have to press the find key, which is over here, or the search key, and the backspace key. The, this combination acts as a delete key. Also for the right click, uh, the Chromebook does not come with the right click. It's a single click anywhere you click on the keypad. So for right click, what you have to do is you have to take two of your fingers, put them together and then click. Only then does it act as a right click button. Other than that, uh, the scrolling part is pretty cool. You put two fingers and you scroll up and down and the whole screen uh, scrolls. Again, this is the, something which I did not find in my old Windows laptop. Maybe it's there in the new ones, but uh, I'm not quite sure about it. But this is something I really liked about this uh, Chromebook. Also, the uh, caps lock key is basically pressing the Alt and the search button. When you do that, it gives you a message here that the caps lock is turned off. There is no straightforward key in ca uh, for caps lock like we have 
in uh, Windows. So uh, that's that's the overall view of, of the Chromebook. It's a pretty sturdy, good looking uh, book. I've been having it for almost a month. It runs very smoothly, very nicely. Uh, one additional thing that we have here as compared to the other Chromebooks is this small nifty camera over here. This is a 12 megapixel camera which is supposed to act like a backside camera once you tilt your tablet all the way back and clamp it down. Um, yeah, that's that's all I have to show you right now. Uh, I might be looking at a few applications that I would like to review later on. If you want to buy this book and have any questions or queries about this, please go ahead and put it in the comments. I'll try my best to have all those questions and answers, uh, all the questions answered for you. That's all for now. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. As, as you would see here on the screen, uh, my channel also has a lot of videos on good thoughts, thoughts for the day, which will help you to start your day uh, to a great start. So please, if you like what I've been showing so far, go ahead and subscribe and take advantage of all the good thoughts that you can have to start your day. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.